द कम्यूटेटिव प्रॉपर्टी फॉर एडिशन एंड मल्टीप्लीकेशन अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग एंड वेरी सिंपल वन कम्यूटेटिव एज सिंपल कम्यूट मूव फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनादर वेरी सिंपल लेट्स चेक इट आउट फर्स्ट फॉर एडिशन ऑफ होल नंबर्स नाउ इफ आई से फोर प्लस सम नंबर गिव्स यू टेन सी हाउ मेनी प्लेसेस यू हैव जंप्ड अप यू हैव जंप्ड टू सिक्स प्लेसेस सो फोर प्लस सिक्स इज गिविंग यू टेन इज इट द सेम इफ आई डू इट्स ऑपोजिट लाइक इफ आई मूव फ्रॉम सिक्स एंड मूव फोर स्टेप्स टू द राइट ऑफ इट and i'll reach 10 again yes that concludes here that if i found we can add and multiply two whole numbers in any order now what do you understand by this line here it means if from if to 4 i want to add 6 i'll reach the number 10 similarly if i start from 6 and i move four steps to the right so i will be reaching again the number 10 so here we can add the numbers in any order means 4 plus 6 or we go 6 plus 4 you'll get the same answer in both the cases let's find out example with one example here let's see with one more example 4 plus 6 gives you 10 or 6 plus 4 also gives you 10 similarly can we say 4 multiplied by 5 is 20 of 5 multiplied by 4 is also 20 yes that means number can be added in any order or numbers can be multiplied in any order but can we subtract and divide also try it on your own here you'll find we cannot subtract and we cannot divide in any order the numbers the result will be different in both the cases so we say that the commutative property is applicable only under or only for addition and multiplication now the next property in the queue is associative property for addition and multiplication very simple again of go by the literal meaning of it association association means basically making a group of it let's see various examples what do you understand by associative property here associative property means if i want to add say three numbers 5 7 and 3 there can be different ways to solve it out right for example i may add 5 and 7 first i get the result as 12 now to the result 12 i will add 3 i get 15 right on the other way if i first make a group of 7 and 3 instead of 5 and 7 i'll get 5 plus 7 plus 3 is 10 so 5 plus 10 i'll get the number 15 here right therefore i conclude one thing here that 5 plus 7 plus 3 or 5 plus 7 plus 3 whatever the number whatever the order is the result will still remain the same in this case let's check for multiplication as well while multiplying the two any three numbers like 6 5 and 3 we can first multiply 6 and 5 we get the result as 30 then we can multiply by 3 and see you get the result as 90 here right similarly instead of 6 and 5 if i make a group of 5 and 3 right so 6 is written as it is 5 3 are 15 and 6 6 times 15 gives you 90 that means in both the cases the result is same you may first multiply 6 and 5 then multiply the result by 3 or you may first multiply 5 and 3 and then multiply the result by 6 the result will still remain same so here we say that the numbers can be associated in any order when we are doing addition and when we are doing multiplication right you can make a group of any three numbers or any four numbers like when we are adding suppose any four numbers also you can add them in any order you can associate two numbers like first and second number then third and fourth number first you can find the sum of first second number then third number and fourth number or you may first add first and third then to the result you may add second and fourth number also or even you can take first 
plus third plus fourth and to the result you may add the second number. This is all associative property that shows you can associate any number by any number. That means grouping can be done in any manner but it is true only for addition and multiplication not for subtraction and division. Now moving on to the next segment that is distributive property and it's a very important distributivity of multiplication now over addition what do we understand here we have two operations multiplication and addition so here from the name only it is clear that distributivity is over multiplication is over addition or over subtraction right so let's check out the distributivity of multiplication over addition first of all let's say if a b c are three whole numbers then what can be done suppose a times b plus c is equal to a b plus a c it seems very complex no let me make it very simple suppose here it's a's birthday okay and it went to the class to distribute the chocolate and a's brother and cousin brother they both are in the same class so generally what we do we distribute the chocolate a will distribute the chocolate to brother as well as to his cousin that means a will be multiplied by b as well as a will be multiplied by c very simple thing so whenever in any bracket any two numbers or any three numbers if they are added together and one more number is being multiplied to that then what we do we multiply this number by each and every number inside the bracket here there can be two numbers or there can be more than two numbers also for example here we can see that 12 multiplied by 35 now 12 35 i can split as 30 plus 5 now what one method simple method you already know how to multiply 12 and 35 as we have been doing it in the junior classes but while using distributive property how can we do that in distributive property we'll split 35 as 30 plus 5 you can also do it in any other way also now since 12 is getting multiplied by 30 plus 5 so we will multiply 12 by 30 and 12 by 5 so 12 times 30 and 12 times 5 so here we have 12 times 30 gives you 360 and 12 times 5 give you 60 and now see very simple 360 plus 60 gives you 420 isn't it easy right you can in the same manner multiply very big numbers by splitting any number out of it here as you have a split 35 it's up to you you may split 12 also see if i multiply 35 by 12 and i'm splitting 12 as 10 plus 2 i'll multiply 35 by this so now how will i can do this 35 times 10 and I will add to it because it is addition so here the two brackets will be added and 35 is multiplied by 2 in the second bracket we will multiply 35 by 2 it's 35 now here 35 times 10 gives you 350 plus 35 times 2 gives you 70 and what is 350 plus 70 again you'll get the same result 420 isn't it so simple in whatever manner we can do right let's move on i think the distributive property over addition is very clear to you all now let's move on to the next segment that is distributivity over subtraction again a very simple thing as we have done for addition same thing we have to apply for subtraction as well for example if a b and c are the three whole numbers then a times b minus c will give you a b minus a c very simple the same example we have taken here like 35 can also be written as 40 minus 5 so let's check let's check here one more thing if i multiply a by b first and a by c what i'll get i'll get a b minus a c 
here AB means A multiplied by B and AC means A multiplied by C, right? So now I'm I have split 35 as 40 minus 5. In the previous example, I have written 30 plus 5 because it was distributivity over addition. And now here we are doing distributivity over subtraction. So we can say 40 minus 5. Now let's multiply 12 by 40. We have the result and 12 multiplied by 5. So 12 times 5. Now 12 times 40 is 480 and 12 times 5 is 60. So again see the result is 420. So you may do a single question by using distributive property over addition or over subtraction. In this particular case, since the number 35 is equal distance from 30 and from 40, so we have added 5 and we have subtracted 5. Suppose if we have a number 38 instead of 35, in that case what will be beneficial for us? If I want to multiply 12 by 38, then 38 can be split as 40 minus 2. Even you can write 38 as 30 plus 8. So here we'll multiply 12 by 40 minus 2. Let's multiply 12 times 40. So 12 multiply by 40 and minus 12 times 2. So here we have 12 fours are 48 minus 12 twos are 24. Now 480 minus 24. See, when you do the subtraction, you'll get the result as 456. Same, you can cross-check if you multiply it by the using the column method as you have been doing in your, in your junior classes. You'll get the same result. So same way, same result, but a different method using distributive property over subtraction here.